Hi, Kate with Yoga Healer, and uh, my friend Sarah, who's our intern at Yoga Tages. Woohoo! She's helping me today in my kitchen, and I just wanted to give you a tour of um, kind of what my kitchen tends to look like and what goes on here. So, kitchen sadhana is an old Ayurvedic practice where you spend a few hours, it's usually on a you know day off or on the weekend, uh, on a weekly cycle. You take like one chunk of time and you do a lot in that chunk of time that then nourishes you for the whole week. So that instead of like constantly making a mess in your kitchen every day, like what am I going to eat today? Oh, there's chips and salsa, I'm hungry, I'll just eat those. You actually spend a little bit of time organizing your food body for, for that week. So come check out what we've got. This, I was riding my bike this morning. This is, um, this is thistle and I'll put this in my smoothies. So all I'm going to do with this is rinse it off, take out the weeds, that kind of stuff, grab a Ziploc bag, put it in there, put it in my fridge, and then I'll get some wild green nutrients all week. This is nettle, um, and I'll do the same thing with that. Nettle's also a great tea, so I might put a few in with um, some, some rose hips that I also got in, in the woods, uh, and that'll probably be my like evening tea before bed this week. We're dehydrating apples, because our local apples were 30 bucks a box, so Thanks, Sarah, for coming over and chopping apples <laughs> to put my dehydrator. <laughs> and uh, a few other things going on. Fenugreek seeds that I'm sprouting that I just had so many fenugreek seeds. I thought I'll sprout a bunch and then I'll rinse them and give them. I have too many probably for me and my family, so we'll give them to friends. And, uh, oh, over here. These are my favorite. These are my um, little buckwheat, buckwheat patties. It's just buckwheat, apple, honey, dates. What else do we put in? Cinnamon, almonds. Cinnamon. Oh yeah, we're gonna chop up more almonds and more chopped apple, and uh, and we'll just dehydrate this. And I make them the size of like a piece of toast, so that when I have my green smoothie in the morning, if I'm still hungry, then we'll just stick them in my toaster, warm them up, put on a little bit of um, coconut butter and honey, something like that. And then uh, we're also making some treats. These are gonna be the last treats before the yogi detox. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a chocolate fudge with just. Uh, Dates, raisins, cacao, coconut butter. That's it. Yeah. And that's it. And so we'll we'll probably just make these into little balls and um, and dehydrate them overnight and roll them in cacao and have little dark chocolate truffles to share around the yoga studio before everyone goes into green smoothie or kitchery land for the next month. And that's it. Thanks for taking a tour of my kitchen.